Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking a look at my 2013 Hyundai Elantra. This is going to be a, uh, I guess, what's in my car update video, I guess you could say. This is going to be my first update video, actually. It's really dirty, so uh, keep that in mind. I'm, I just went on a road trip and I haven't been... Uh, been kind of lazy, haven't washed it yet, I guess. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I guess let's start at the front. As you can see, I have a prototype Easy Lip on it, headlight armor, yellow fog light, and I did plasti dip some eye eyelashes on it, as well as the mirrors. Yeah, I don't know if I like it yet, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. The reason I did it in plastic is because you can peel it right off, obviously. I, mean, I, I think it looks okay, to be honest. I don't know. It gives it sort of an aggressive look to it, I guess. If you can say that about an Elantra. Obviously, I have a plastic badge. Coming around sides, I do have this style package. So it comes with the 17 alloys. Hankook Optimo H426s, P215 45R17s, tire size. Front have good tread life on them. The, the back are a little less because the tires were replaced when the dealer got the car because of bubbling front sidewalls. So, yeah, that's another thing. The this room is pretty good, actually. The fronts have some pretty bad uh, curb rash on them. Kind of sucks, but it doesn't really bother me too bad. I'm sure, if I wanted to, I could clean it up, make it look a little better. I have the mud flaps. Now this is a totally different story. So I don't remember if it was December or January of this past winter uh, my car was sitting in the parking lot as normal and kid from school ended up sliding into my car trying to park next to me and since our lot wasn't plowed you know it was really just too bad so he hit here did actually damage the uh, liner a little bit. He broke the, broke this clip actually. I super glued the clips, the two halves back together so it actually stays in now. Pretty nice. He also uh, cracked it there. Did break the uh, reflector, one of the front reflector brackets. There's a kind of a scratch there. I cleaned it up. It looks a lot better than it did. It doesn't really bother me too much. I mean you know, it is what it is, I guess. As you can see, plastic dip badges in the rear. I really like those. Definitely keeping those. I'll talk about that sticker later. Car's really dirty. Do you have the panoramic sunroof? Sorry. With the shark fan antenna. And here's my plastic dip mirrors. I don't know if I like them. Um, I mean, they're not bad. It actually does match us up with the plastic really well. And I might peel it off the uh, turn signal part, but other than that, I like it. There's a uh, kind of bugs the crap out of me. The uh, these two don't line. These panels don't line up at all, as you can see. I mean, it's almost to the point where my my finger will stop here. It's so bad. Probably just needs to adjust. And here's the other rim. A little bit of curb rash on it. It's not too bad. Here's my easy lip. It does actually, in the sun it's not as good, but in the shade, or on a cloudy day, it actually does match the car really well.
So let's go take a look on the inside, I guess. Car does come with smart key. Once to lock it. Once to unlock just the driver door and twice to unlock all doors. Car is a little dirty, so keep that in mind. It does have the black leather with uh, power, full power seat with power lumbar. As you can tell, not much in here. There's a video coming about my interior LEDs as well as the license plate LEDs, so stay tuned for that. All your usual stuff over here. Power mirrors, power locks, power windows. Dash illumination, eco button. Go ahead and start it up. Let you guys hear it. It's pretty quiet. <laughs> it does have 17,706 miles on it. Got your turn signals, headlight controls, fog light control. Over here's all your wiper controls. All the steering wheel controls, volume, all the normal stuff, Bluetooth. Got my trip computer and controls a little display up there, as well as my uh, cruise control. As you can tell, my car does have the tech package, so it comes with the 7 inch touchscreen. It's a pretty old infotainment system. It works well for its age, I think. You know, it's it's definitely not bad. Do have uh, media, USB, CD, of course, and Bluetooth phone, XM, all that good stuff. Traction control on off, passenger airbag, light, dual zone climate controls with automatic mode, dual stage heated seats, all the good stuff. Two 12 volts down here as well as your aux and USB port. Got my got a pair of sunglasses and my case for my camera and some chapstick. Six speed automatic transmission. With manual shiftability. Got two cup holders as well as the e-brake. Sliding armrest, which is nice. And there's Really nothing in there, surprisingly. <laughs> it's really deep actually. I mean it's it's not the deepest I've seen, but it does, you know. It's quite a bit of space, I guess. Got my change down there in the little holder. Coming up top, got your Bluetooth microphone. Again, LED vanity lights. Mirror. Ah. With a little clip. These actually do have the uh, little pull-out extender things. Got my shade controls. As well as the sunroof and uh, interior light controls. Sunglass holder. It does have the auto-dimming mirror. Garage home link and blue link and all that good stuff. Does not have an O whatever handle over here. It does on the other three. So that's pretty much it. Let's go take a look at the back seat. It does have good storage down here. Bottle holder, padded armrest, padded. I mean, it's all padded, really. It does not it does not leather or pleather back here, but it is soft touch, soft touch. Some more good storage with the bottle holder. Bunch of crap in here, I'm not gonna get in. <laughs> Back seats are in good shape too. 60 40 split with the armrests and cup holders. Does not have a 12 volt back here, which I'm kind of bummed about, but net pockets, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and check out the trunk. 
please shut up. Do you have the factory cargo net? It does have some hooks back here. It does have a 12 volt back here, which is nice. Got some paper towels over here, little cubbies on each side. Can't lift this up because there's a battery back up in here. Some storage down under here, but I'm not gonna lift it up because I can't. Little privacy thing up here. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, before I forget, let's talk about this sticker over here. So I don't know if you guys can read that, but yeah, you can. It's a survivor. Uh, so not too long ago, I was actually diagnosed with uh, malignant melanoma. And uh, so yeah, I actually had to have surgery and get all that removed and stuff, but everything came out okay. You know, they said I was about 1 in 10 for uh, getting melanoma around my age, which is 16. Oh, shut up. And uh, I was kind of bummed about that, but you know, everything turned out okay. So yeah, here's the engine, guys. Pretty clean, actually. This is the 1.8 liter, not direct injected, <laughs> port injected engine. Uh, puts out 148 horsepower and 131 pound-feet torque, I think. Thinking about getting an uh, intake, but I'm not sure. I might just go drop and filter. So yeah. Do have quite a few rock chips. I don't know if you guys can see all those or not, but there are some good rock chips on there. So yeah, I guess that's about it, guys. Uh, Thanks for watching my first update video, and stay tuned for that review coming up soon. Should be in the next week or so. And, uh, and another thing I for totally forgot to mention is, uh, kind of reason I'm making this video is I'm actually going tomorrow to get my windows tinted. I'm just gonna do 35% uh, all the way around. So, uh, cause that's the legal limit in Illinois. I know you can usually go beyond the legal limit, but might as well just stay within that. And 35 is pretty good anyway. So. Yep, getting all the windows tinted. And you probably won't be able to see that sticker anymore, so I'll probably have to take that off. But, yeah, I think I think the window tint will look good on a uh, silver car. So I'll definitely be back, and I'll probably add on to this video with the tint. Show you how it looks on the car. Come around to this side. Yeah, here's a before shot with the front window down, the rear window up. Rear three quarter shot. Yeah, I think it'll turn out good. So I'll definitely add on to this video uh, after I get it done and show you guys how it looks. So, uh,. Stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so here's a week later after I got my windows tinted. As you can tell, back ones are tinted, the front are as well, I just have them down right now. I think it turned out really good. Again, it's 35% tint. It's not, it's not too dark, but it gives it a nice look and it's, you know, you don't have any problems at night or anything like that. Uh, another thing you guys can probably tell right off the bat is I did plastic dip the chrome inserts on my rims. They look good. I like them. They get dirty pretty easy, but you know, they're not that hard to clean. I scrubbed all the inside of the rim and everything, cleaned up the calipers. I'm I were gonna I was gonna paint them, but I decided not to just wait. Uh, another thing that happened was a hailstorm came through, gave me a couple dents. Biggest being right here on the hood. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. You know, it's 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 a really good sized one. Uh, I got a couple on my two on my driver's door, and then a couple up here along this up here. And you know, I don't think you're gonna be able to tell. There's one like right there. Yeah, but there's two up here, two on my door. 
biggest on my hood. Another interesting thing that happened, which is kind of funny, the, I'll go on this side and show you guys, the day that, the morning I was going to get my windows tinted, I decided it was really dirty, like I showed you yet the day previously in this video. Um, so I decided to wash it at the car wash. This thing just popped off, which is just this trim. I thought maybe it was clipped on like these, but now it turns out they're just glued on. And there's actually a TSB at the Hyundai dealer for it. So uh, they're going to replace this whole the glass and everything. So I'm going to get that replaced. But they said they'd take care of getting these tinted and everything. So we're like, hey, this other side's actually coming loose. It's pretty much about to fall off, if you ask me just left it but they said they'd deal with getting them tinted at the place we got my one was tinted so hey I'm not complaining uh, finally I did order a uh, just a drop-in filter AEM dry flow you know I, I don't really care to spend the money on the uh, a cold air intake or anything like that so I just ordered the filter figured I'd save the money and spend it elsewhere on the car so uh, yeah, that's about it. So again, here's the uh, view from the side with the, tin tin the tinted windows. Sorry, I think it turned out great. It's just dark enough to where, and it's kind of darker on camera, but you know, it's just dark enough to where it looks great. You know, you can still see the sticker, okay, I guess. So I'm just gonna leave that for now. So yeah, I th I'm thinking about ordering a uh, replacement reflector since this one's got a broken bracket and it kind of moves around and stuff. I'm also thinking about getting my taillights tinted, haven't decided on that yet. There's a couple things I want to do, especially before school starts. So yeah, hope you guys liked it and uh, give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more. Thanks.